Speak Out for Literacy. Library-based literacy programs in California have made a huge difference in the lives of adult learners. I wouldn't read to my kids because it was so embarrassing because uh, they started to bust me and realized that I, I couldn't read. So I stopped that process. So the very simple act of being a good father and doing story time wasn't part of my day-to-day -day process anymore. And then after being in the literacy program, it was. I've been really happy because, you know, I'm in advanced class now at our literacy program and it's just been doing wonders for me. It really make a change in my life already. You know, uh, I struggle on English. I'm from Mexico and that's not, not speaking the language. Keep me in one corner everywhere where I used to go. Now I feel more confident. I know it, I don't talk perfectly, but I'm, I lost uh, the fear to talk in front of people. Not knowing how to read and write, you limit it. When I want to help my kids, I couldn't read to them. Just make a story is not enough. I always tell them to go to their dad, but now I can help. <laughs> I'm not quitting. I, it, what can I say? I didn't taste the goodness at the freedom that you have on a little bit that I can read and write. Why give it up now? Once they have gained some success, many adult literacy students choose to speak out and let others know that they too can get help. So you've started to do well. It makes perfect sense to start talking about it. And when you do, what happens is you, you lift a lot of that burden that you've carried for so many years and, and you're free. You free yourself up by talking about it. And it might be scary, but it, it absolutely helps you and, and, and makes you feel better about yourself. I take literacy, um, very, it's a serious problem. Mm -hmm. And it's a critical problem that people have to hear what is going on. The head of my program came to me and asked me to be interviewed. At first I was reluctant, but I realized I can't worry anymore about what other people think. I have to worry now about what I think. If your coordinator asks you to speak, don't say no. Um, it'll be scary, but don't say no. Give it a try. So I went ahead with the interview, and since then, I became proud of doing the interview. Some learners start by sharing with family, friends, and coworkers. For example, my neighbor, She's a, a tutor now. I talked with her about the program, and she said, oh, I'm interested in that. So, and now she's, she started tutoring. I w I've been inviting my co-workers that Spanish speaking to join this program. So finally, I convinced one of them <laughs> to, uh, to get uh, on this program. So she get enrolled now. And she gonna start, or she start already this month. Why it's important to speak up for literacy is because it's our duty. Somebody has given us the opportunity to better ourselves. We need to do the same for others. Oh, it would be important to let to spread the word about adult literacy just so people know it's there, so people can, can come and get the help they need. They know where to go. And it's important that they know the people they will be with are in the same boat they are so no one's going to judge them. Good place to start would be uh, talking to your coordinator if they're doing their tutor trainings, speak to the new incoming tutors, uh, and you will be surprised at how much they appreciate you coming in. That's kind of the first step. Um, then you can go on to speaking maybe at like Rotary or the Lions Club. And then I would say take it to the legislator. To go to the state capitol and speak to the assembly and the uh, Senate, and then to get an email to saying thank you that you've spoken for over 20-something 20, 20 thousand people in the state of California was just overwhelming. When you're in conversation, the literacy program, library, will pop up somewhere in your conversation. Throw it in. Tell, them, tell people about it. Let them know what you're learning, mm -hmm. what they're doing for you to others, you know, and I encourage everyone 
around me if they need help. You don't know how many people is really out there got the same, have the same problem that you have and it just pays off to share. So you have to be the voice. We are the voice. So get out there and speak. Speak out for literacy. California Library Literacy Services, a program of the California State Library.